preacher once asked, if you were on trial for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Kung nakusahan ka nga usa ka Kristiyano, adu na bakahay makuha nga igong ebidensya aron ikaw makonvicto? Mga igsoon, nindot ni nga pangutana. Daghan ba yan nato nga Kristiyanos sa ngalan lang? Apan sa tinudanay, dili di ay. It would be very sad if we are found Christians only by name. But in practice, we are not. Would you know that Christians are the most persecuted groups in the world today? There is an advocacy group called Open Doors who make a formal study every year to see the situation of persecuted Christians all over the world. For the year 2022, these were the hard facts Every day, 13 Christians worldwide are killed because of their faith. Every day, 12 churches and Christian buildings are attacked. And every day, 12 Christians are unjustly arrested or imprisoned. And another five Christians are abducted simply because they believe in Christ. Furthermore, there are 309 million Christians in the world who are experiencing high levels of persecution. The study also reveals that there are half a billion Christians all over the world who cannot freely express their faith. Because of this, Pope Francis said that today there are more Christians who are suffering because of persecutions than in the first centuries of Christianity. My dear friends, because the Philippines is a predominantly Christian nation, we don't easily understand situations like this. Dilita makarelate easily sa kahimtang sa mga tao nga gipanglutos tungod sa Kristohanong pagtuo. Daghan ganin nato, wala masayod, unsa kalisod para sa atong mga kaigsuunang Kristiyanos ang pagsimba og Dios diha sa mga lugar nga ilang gipuy-an. There are millions of Christians today who are persecuted and are greatly suffering because of their faith in Christ. If we are not one of them, should we not consider ourselves fortunate? The Red Wednesday observance was started for the following reasons. First, is to create awareness among people about the severity of Christian persecution. Second, to honor those who suffered and died for the Christian faith. And third, to pray for all who suffer ongoing persecutions because of the Christian faith. On this day, my dear brothers and sisters, Red Wednesday, our bishops are inviting all Christians to light their churches and buildings red. This is not a political color, but a statement color to express our support for persecuted Christians. In our Gospel reading today, we learned that the persecution of Christians was already prophesied by Jesus. Disciples of Jesus will be persecuted and killed. Gani ang mga tinunan, pwede nga budhian sa ilang maginikanan, kaigsunan o kaigalaan tungod sa iyang ngalan. Nga nung mahitabu man ang sama ni ini, ang pinakadakong hinungdan, mao si Satanas. Nga maoy muhulhog og mga tao nga masuko, magdumot, o mupatay sa mga sumusunod ni Kristo. Satan is against the truth and he will do everything to stop anyone who proclaims the truth or who preaches the good news of Jesus. 
Mga egsoon, bisan tuod makalilisang ang mahitabo sa mga tao nga musunod kang Kristo. At usab na dungog sa Ebanghelyo ang nindot niya nga pasalig. You are not to prepare your defense beforehand for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. What a consoling assurance by Jesus. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. Kung magpabilin kita nga maunungon kaniya, maangkon nato ang kaluwasan. Mga egsoon, kining Red Wednesday, unta, magdasig ka natong mga Pilipinhong Kristiyanos na magmatnud anon sa pagpuyo o kinabuhi nga Kristuhanon. Kinood, bulahan kita kaayo nga makasimba o makapadayag sa atong pagtuo nga walay kahadlok nga pasakitan o patyon. Aban angay ta magbantay tungod kay kini nga sitwasyon mao sa hinungdan nga no nga dili kita seryoso dili kita maninood sa atong pagka Kristiyanos. Mahimo na hinuunta mga mediocre or passive Christians. Tanawara good, kita nga giila the only Christian country in Asia. Do na lamay duha ka mga santos, si San Lorenzo Ruiz o si San Pedro Kalungsod. Ang China o Vietnam, nga mga komunistang nasod, daghan kayo mga santos o mga martires. Nga no, tungod kay dinhi sa ato, wala man ta lutusa. Ang pagpanglutos mo'y hinungdan nga no nga nagmaisugon ang mga Kristiyanos o nahimong tinuod nga buhi ang simbahan. In the words of Jesus, it will lead to your giving testimony. Maukini ang inyong kahigayunan nga makasangyaw sa maayong balita. So you see, my dear friends, persecutions are opportunities for Christians to bear witness to the gospel. Tertullian was right in saying, the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christians. And so, as we celebrate Red Wednesday, we remember to ask ourselves, if we are on trial for being Christians, would there be enough evidence to convict us? Hopefully so.